Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry that I've been away for a while, but it's been my mom's, my mom and Jeremy's birthday is in the same week, so that took up a lot of time. And then I've just been under the weather, and yesterday I was just bleh, like, so I wasn't feeling too good. So, I just want to apologize if I'm a little low energy today, but I'm still not feeling good. But I didn't want to go another day without getting a video up, so I'm back. <laughs> So today I'm going to talk about life after acrylic nails. I just wanted to do a quick video on my nail care because I know a lot of us were on that stiletto bandwagon where we all had stiletto nails and I'm kind of transitioning back into my natural nails. I've had my acrylics off since January. I did take them off I think in like November and then I got them put back on for iMats and then I've had them off ever since then. When I first got my acrylics taken off, my nails were so weak, like I could honestly bend this nail completely in half. I couldn't even open like soda cans. I really feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I felt like I couldn't do anything with my hands because my nails were so, so, so weak. So my nail care routine is just really simple, but it's made such a difference in my nails so far. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I do. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to apply nail decals because I have been super obsessed with them and they are, they kind of help your nails grow because you do have like a sticker over your nail so it kind of prevents breakage from happening. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply those because a lot of you have been asking. It's super super easy and I am uber addicted to nail decals. So let's go ahead and jump in. I only have a few products to talk about so let's go. That was an awkward transition, right? <laughs> so the first product that I've been using for years and years and years is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. So I love using this because when I first got my nails taken off, I noticed that my cuticles, <laughs> my cuticles were like super janky looking. So I've been using this stuff forever. Like I can't even tell you how many bottles I've gone through this. And it's really easy. All you do is just squeeze a little bit around your cuticles, let it sit for 15 seconds, and then go ahead and push your cuticles back. I'm somebody that has like kind of out of control cuticles, so if I'm not always pushing them back, I feel like they would like grow over my entire nail. So I like to use this to kind of get rid of extra cuticle-ness that's happening around there, and just it's easier to push them back that way. Um, I just push them back with my thumb, but if you want to use like a little one of those little wooden things. I don't even know what those are called. Are those called like cuticle sticks? Probably. <laughs> so the next one is from Nailteaks and this is a nail protein and this is Formula 2. They have 1, 2, and 3. But this Formula 2 is for soft, peeling, bitten, weak, or thin nails. And I kind of had all of the above. They were soft, they were peeling, they weren't bitten because I'm don't. i not somebody that likes to bite my nails. I do like to bite my acrylic nails though. Um, and they were weak and they were definitely thin. So before I say anything else about this product, if you're going to purchase anything that I mention, this is the one thing that you want to get because it made such a difference in my nails. I don't know what is in here, but it made my nails so much stronger. Like I can't, I can't bend my thumbnails back anymore. I can still bend this one back a little bit, but that's pretty much the only one. So all you do with this is apply it once a day to your nails. It recommends that you don't apply it more than once because it is a protein. When my nails need a breather or anything like that, because I do paint my nails pretty regularly, like pretty much every single day. And when you do paint your nails a lot, they can get a little yellow underneath because they don't really have any oxygen getting to them. So um, every like once a week or so, I like to just let my nails breathe for a couple days and then just apply this every single day. I also do apply this before I paint my nails, so there's kind of a barrier between the polish and my natural nail. So you can do that. You can put this underneath your nail polish or you can just let your nails set, but it makes such such a difference and, and it even says on the back caution do not apply more than one coat of protein a day so just keep that in mind this is my holy holy grail of nail care products um, they do have like I said they do have formulas one two and three I think formula one is like if you just have healthy nails and you just want to do like a nail treatment for you and then I think formula three is like an extreme version of this but I read tons of reviews on this guy and everybody said it's like the most amazing thing of life so if you're just kind of transitioning transitioning so if you're just kind of transitioning out of acrylic nails or you just want a good nail treatment if you've got if you bite your nails or if you just have weak nails I definitely recommend this to you it's the bomb.com so my next product is from Julep and it is the oxygen nail treatment this is another product for thin or peeling nails which I feel like I still have weak nails I'm trying to get them back in fighting shape but the cool thing about this is it has a really nice tint to it so it's what I have it's what I have on my nails right now and it's why my nails 
look good without having nail polish on them and that's why I like this so much because I feel like I could wear this for a whole week and be perfectly content without painting my nails because they just look so good and healthy and what it is is just an oxygen technology that allows oxygen to get to your nails even though you have a top coat on your nails so it prevents breaking it prevents peeling and it just is going to strengthen your nails at the same time all while giving your nails like they, they still look good without being painted which is like a huge plus to me because I would love to leave nail treatments on I just don't like how my nails look when they're not painted but when I paint them with this I'm like okay I could funk with this for a week so this stuff is amazing and the way that it like caught my attention is on the box it said makeup for your nails and I was like what okay let me let me get this and I'm so glad that I did and I don't ever want to be without this product <laughs> And then last but not least is just a little nail gel treatment that I use as well because when I take my nail polish off I use pure acetone which isn't the best thing for your nails but I'm such an impatient person and when I try to use regular nail polish remover it just takes forever or if I've got glitter on my nails it's just like a nightmare so I always use just pure acetone which I actually just have sitting right here I didn't even know um, and yeah, so it dries out my nail beds. That's where I was going. I was totally confused there for a second. So it dries out your nail beds, and I just like to add a little moisture back into them. So this is cuticle and skin gel. Gel? Gel? Gel. This is cuticle and skin gel from Nail Teaks as well. I really like the whole Nail Teaks line. This stuff is just great because it just moistens your cuticles and just puts moisture back into your nail beds and everything like that. We'll take all my nail polish off file my nails, treat my nails, and then I'll put this stuff all over the cuticles, let it sit there for about 20 seconds, and then I go in and um, remove it, like I wipe off all the excess before I paint my nails, because if you leave this on your nails and then paint your nails, you may get a little bubbling underneath your nail polish, which I hate. So just make sure you get it off your nail beds before you paint your nails. So super, super easy, my nail kale... <laughs> my nail care routine. I just mainly use these three products and this one you can even skip if you just wanted to replace it with this guy. It's like my little holy grail system right here. So it's really made a difference in my nails since I've gotten rid of my acrylic nails. Um, they are pretty long and they are getting pretty strong so I'm excited and I just wanted to share it with you because I know like I said we were all on that stiletto bandwagon for a hot minute. I do miss them sometimes because it's just like they make your hands look so long and my hands are like one part that I don't I don't really like them I have little fat fingers <laughs> um, but yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into me showing you how to put on nail decals and it's really easy so let's jump into that <laughs> so excuse this table but this is my nail table that I always do my nails on so yeah, it's been through the ringer, so it's a little janked up right now, but that's okay. So these are basically nail decals. Um, they come in so many different colors, shapes, well, not different shapes. They have just so many different design options that you can choose from, and these are only a couple. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you with my flamingos. So they just come as a kind of like a sticker sheet and they come with a nail file as well. So it's super duper easy. All you want to do is select the nail size that you think is going to fit you. So I just kind of like to peruse along. And just a little tip, whatever size you think is going to fit your finger, go ahead and move up one size because it is going to be a little smaller when you pull the decal off. So I'm just going to go with the second one right here for my thumb. And like I said, it's just a sticker that you just peel off. And then you're going to want to make sure you apply the curved side to your cuticle. And they just give you a little tab up top to just to remind you. You want to make sure that your nail is clean and that you have nothing on it. And then you're just going to line it up and then finagle that bad boy on there. And then you can lift it up if you get air bubbles or anything like that in it. But just keep pushing all the air bubbles out. And then I like to just kind of pinch it like this so that it connects to the size of your nail. And then push this down like that. So then you're going to have this excess part like there, right there. And then that's what they give you the nail file for. All you're going to do, actually I have an air bubble in. And then all you're going to do is file off the excess. And then you can just pull it off. And then I just like to give it another little file to make sure we don't have 
anything stuck on there. And now you have a nail decal on. Sometimes you will get like a little gap of space. Like I have a little gap right here, but no one's gonna notice that except you. And I will finish mine off with a top coat sometimes. Sometimes I won't, just depending on my mood. But super duper easy peasy. And these are great because they will kind of reinforce your nail and you won't break your nail because you kind of have this sticker on, which is a double plus. See, I told you, super, super easy, right? And let me just give you a warning like I did for the lashes. Once you start using nail decals, you will get addicted to them. Like, I'm always searching the internet for like, where can I find more nail decals? And it's, it's pretty slim pickings out there. But that NCLA does have a really great website and they have tons and tons of decals. That's where I got all mine from. And yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it. So I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon.